my friends. Today I wanted to do something just kind of fun, different. Maybe you've seen me uh, with this project before in the past, but what it is is it's called crazy hair. So um, I'm going to start by drawing my face and um, or a face, and then I'm just going to add crazy hair. You're going to use all of our elements of art. You're going to use line. You're going to use shape. You're going to use color value. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. So I want to start by drawing the bottom part of my face because um, the top of my head is going to be covered by crazy hair. So I'm just going to almost do a U. I'm going to start on both sides of my face. And remember your chin is a little bit more narrow. So I'm going to kind of come down and do sort of a U shape. That's kind of, doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to worry so much about the top of the hair yet. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is maybe add my lips. So I'm gonna, I like to draw my lips. If you think about it, there's a little bit of a U shape at the top of your lips, a little bit of a U, and then kind of like little bumps on both sides of the U, like that. And we're gonna pull it down to the sides and then we're gonna close off the top part of the lip. And then we're gonna draw the bottom part of the lip. I'm just gonna emphasize that line by making it a little darker. And then I'm gonna pull down the bottom part of the lip. Now some of you have thicker lips, some of you have thinner lips. My, my own children tease me all the time and tell me, Mom, you don't have any lips because they're so thin you can barely see them, especially when I smile. It's like they disappear. Um, now the nose, a little above this part, and you know, you don't have to draw these two lines, but right above your lips, you have these two lines that actually connect to your nose. You can actually touch your face and feel them, and you can see them in the mirror. The bottom of your nose has a little bit of a U shape. That's for the little ball part, I call it. Just like it's, it's copying the same shape of U as the top of the lip. And then it goes up, just like this. Up and up, not too much. You don't want it to look like a bird flying in the air. And then I'm going to stop here. That's kind of, This is kind of the nostril part. That's the little ball of your nose. And then I'm gonna do a C shape right here. It's not connected, see? That's kind of the edge of the cartilage of your nose. And then I'm gonna do a backward C shape over here. That's the bottom part of your nose. And um, oftentimes, you can kind of see a line, but I'm gonna make it really, really light. And I'm gonna draw it connecting up to my eyebrows. They don't touch your eyes, they touch your eyebrows. So I'm gonna kind of come up here and I'm gonna See how I'm just lightly drawing, because I may want to change some of these lines. Well, eyebrows are like broken lines, just like so. Some of you have thicker eyebrows, some of you have a little bit less. Some of them are dark, some are light. Come over here and kind of do the same thing. Just a bunch of little broken lines. I usually like to start with the eyes when I'm drawing a face, but since I'm not drawing the top of the head right now with the crazy hair, that's why I started at the bottom of my face. And you can draw a light line connecting. Now your eyes are shaped kind of like ovals. So I'm gonna start about right here. I'm gonna do a rainbow shape. And then I'm gonna come down with a U shape, sort of. Makes a nice oval. And you, you wanna try your best Leave about that much space to start your eye right here. Try to make them symmetrical, which means they're the same on both sides, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's actually very hard to make it exactly perfect. That's okay. Come down, and then we're gonna do a slight U. I kinda wanna see if I have the same amount of space from the edge of the eye to the edge of the face on both sides, and also from the edge of the eye to the nose. It doesn't have to be perfect, but similar. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the eyeball. This is the colored part of your eye. It's gonna be like a um, C shape that touches the top to the bottom and a backward C shape that touches top to the bottom and we're gonna do the same thing over here. 
And then you have the pupil of your eye. That's the part that you actually see with. That is a circle inside of your eye. And uh, because your, uh, your eyes are 3D, three-dimensional, you want to leave a white spot or two. You see that when we draw cartoons sometimes. I'm going to do like a C shape here and a backwards one there. C shape here. I'm going to leave that part of my eye white because that shows a reflection of light. I'm going to go ahead and shade this part in. You can color it black later for the pupils. That, that light that you left in the eye makes it look three-dimensional instead of like a flat surface. Okay, now um, some people have little creases above their eyes, so I, I do, so I'm going to draw that little line. You may not really notice it, maybe because I'm older, but I have a little crease that's right above my eye. And whether you're a boy or a girl, you do have eyelashes, but you don't want to do a whole bunch of lines. You just want to do some, make it kind of light because then if you do too many, sometimes it looks like spider legs. You don't wanna look like you have spider legs on your eyes. Just a few, and they crisscross a little bit. Both sides. Remember, this part is white. These two little, um, I guess, sideways triangles. That, that will be left white. This is the colored part of your eye, so if you have brown, eyes you would color that part brown and remember this is just black and white the pupil so um, sometimes you have more than one color in your eye look in the mirror sometimes you may have a little bit of green with your brown which is kind of like a hazel so when you do color your eyes you can use the, the colors that you actually see in the mirror it's not usually just one color okay so now I'm gonna start the crazy hair if you can see your ears you can add those those would be those would start about between the eyebrow and then the eye and come down here. Um, but you don't have to draw it. I'm just gonna lightly put it in there, but we may cover the ears with the crazy hair. Now, if you have bangs, you can draw your bangs. Maybe they're kind of wispy or jaggedy, like, like kind of zigzags. Um, maybe you don't have bangs, but you just want to start the top of your hair. So another option, get my eraser, another option would be to maybe make your hair where it starts with a part perhaps, could be in the middle. So if it's in the middle, you're going to swag your hair down. If it's on the side, you can do it from the side. Maybe it comes down like this, and then maybe it comes down like that. So either way, jaggedy or not, that's how you can start your hairline. And then the rest of my, oh, I also wanna add my neck since I have room. I'm gonna draw two lines for my neck. And I'm also gonna draw my shoulders. So I'm gonna pull my shoulders past my face and go down off the page. Do the same thing over here that line a little bit and then if you have any space if you go off about right here you don't really have to use show the lines of your shoulders but your sh I mean your arms but your arms do start about right in there and then they would keep going off the page and then you can do your shirt you may be wearing a v-neck shirt or a round neck I usually use I usually wear a round neck shirt so that's how I'm going to draw that okay this is the crazy fun part um you just kind of start drawing random lines, like wavy lines that literally go off the page. I'm skipping some space between the uh, hairline by my face and then these lines. Because that could be the top of my head up here. I can, I can make it kind of like it's a rainbow shape right here. Now it's up to you. You can make the lines come down on the side or stop the lines just right above your hair. I've seen both. And that's when you just have fun with line designs. I've seen some people draw like the sun and clouds inside, stars, a moon. You could just draw 
uh, designs. Like maybe in here I could do some zig zigzags that are going off the page. And maybe in here I'll do some kind of like Cheerios. You know how much I love Cheerios. Love them. So I'll draw some Cheerios going off the page. Fill up most of that space between the two lines. It's obviously going off the page. Okay, and then maybe in here, I like the sun idea. Maybe the sun is right here. I'm gonna draw a circle. And I'm gonna draw the rays going off. Most of them will go to the edge or off the page, right up here. Kind of pretend like you're drawing it, but I don't want to go in that part. All the way around my sun. Okay, and then I could do something fun inside my sun. Maybe my son is wearing sunglasses. That would be cute. Or maybe I want to draw my son with his eyes closed because he's happy and warm. <laughs> And I could draw his nose. This is an easy way to draw a nose, kind of a sideways V. And let's give him a big smile. He's a happy son. Maybe even some eyelashes. That's kind of fun. Okay, and I could even give him some eyebrows. Um, so I want you to keep adding your own designs in around your hair and then see what you come up with. And then the next part, when I finish drawing all my designs, I'm going to Sharpie and then I'm going to color. Now you can just use pencil to shade with or just color it black and white, or maybe some of it could be black and white and some of it could be colored. I'd love for you to use your creativity and imagination. Show me what you have. I'm going to stop here and then I'm going to show you what um, it looks like when I color it. Okay, here's my finished um, crazy hair picture. Um, notice on one side, I kind of made it more like daylight with the sun. And then this side is more nighttime with the stars in the sky. I just felt like doing something fun like that. But you could just do patterns and designs of your choice. I actually kind of added um, some feathers over here. Um, I would really love to see what you come up with. Remember, you can use watercolor, paints, oil pastels, whatever you have at your house. Thanks.